Obedience, a reading from the devotional Take It Too Far by Jess Conley. Luke eleven twenty eight. But he said, more than that, blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. I stink at taking medicine sometimes. I'll have a headache for hours before I remember that ibuprofen fixes that. I don't know if I forget or if I'm just stubborn, but I often don't do what I know will help. And then when I do it, I'm relieved and grateful. I walk around for an hour saying, I'm so glad my headache is gone. And I'm shocked and blessed and astounded that the tiny pills helped the way they always do. Obedience is crazy in this same way because most of us know what God is asking us to do on a daily basis. We know what is the healthy, wise, uncomplicated decision that will help us experience him more abundantly, live more freely, and love others better. I find that it's rare that we don't know what God wants us to do and much more common that for whatever reason, we just don't do it. Yet all of his word and all of our past experience with him point to this one truth. When we act in obedience, even if it's hard, we feel better. We experience blessing even if it's not worldly blessing. We know that he's no genie in a bottle who will make us rich if we read our Bibles every day. He's so much better than that. He gives his power and peace and abundance and healing and freedom and himself. He gives himself. He blesses us for our obedience. We just got to take the step. Well, we don't gotta, but we get to. Make the call. Open the Bible. Cancel the appointment. Call the friend. Walk to the neighbor's house. Tithe the money. Start the business. Turn off the TV. Take the nap. Drink the water. We get to obediently do what we know he's made us to do today and then experience the thrill of abundance and blessing that comes afterward. So let's do it. Let's take obedience too far today in small and big ways because this is the beautiful cycle of faithfulness and blessing that we've been invited to into. This is what we were made for. Take obedience too far. Write today's date and what you know God is asking you to do in obedience. Do it and then come back later and write down some of the ways you perceive him blessing you now that you've obeyed him. Tell me what a friend we have in Jesus All our sins and griefs to bear And what a privilege to carry Everything to God in prayer Oh, what peace we often fall Oh, what needless pain we bear All because we do not carry Everything to God and pray Tell me how 
Everything to God in prayer 